make sure we're, you know, executing maximum level of safety. 20 federal agents gather behind a Nogales motel. Most are agents from HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. They are planning a bust. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Obviously, we're going to be vested up. Uh, if you want to go with a long gun, it's your decision. They're about to move in and act on a search warrant. Approach team, just fall in on me and just make sure you're covering any open you know, windows and anything like that. And while they don't expect trouble, they plan for it. If you do take fire and you are wounded, if you can self-evacuate, get yourself out of there. Um, if not, we'll have a, a team of two or three to come up and, and, uh, and, and, and get you out of there. All right, we're rolling. They're moving in on a yard full of trucks and trailers. Nogales is full of trucks. Key to the city's life is a center for cargoes that come in from Mexico. Please. In this raid, the agents are focused on the customs part of Homeland Security. They are after trucking operations that break the laws that apply to when and where foreign truckers can move cargoes inside the U.S. It's only legal for Mexican truckers to drive a few miles into the U.S., then drop their loads in a warehouse. From there, an American trucker is supposed to deliver the cargo into American markets. A lot of these companies then uh, created a very simple uh, and brazen scheme to continue to violate the law where they're having U.S. truckers, oftentimes the trucking company owners or family members, uh, drive the trucks through the checkpoint. Um, once they get past the Border Patrol checkpoint, um, the driver's being switched out for a Mexican driver, um, you know, oftentimes within a matter of a couple miles of the checkpoint, uh, and then they're continuing on to the, the, the end destination. While this work's going on here, another part of this investigation is happening miles away in Los Angeles, the destination for a lot of these cargoes. That's going to be like probably your biggest headache, is what to do with that one gun. Investigators say this is a serious crime. The motivation is money. Mexican drivers work cheaper and lower costs help dishonest produce shippers undercut competitors. Agents say illegal driver swaps beat U.S. drivers out of work and raise the risk to any driver sharing the road. Certainly having, uh, you know, truckers regularly operating on U.S. roads that don't go through the commercial driver's license testing requirements, uh, you know, health requirements that come with the commercial driver's license is a public safety concern. Agents say Mexican truckers driving illegally will lose their visas and be deported, and company owners behind the driver swap schemes could face stiff fines and prison time. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Daryl.